Good evening, friends. Welcome to the Financial Literacy, which is brought to you by the Financial Literacy Foundation. Thank you, friends, for joining us. Thank you, MTW family, and thank you, our Facebook friends, and all of you who are joining us via YouTube and any other platform that you are reaching us. I believe that this program is made for you. It's made for your benefit, and I believe that you will be empowered. The Word of God teaches us that uh, uh, people perish because of lack of knowledge and the purpose for this and this financial literacy it is so that we acquire more knowledge when we acquire more knowledge with the right knowledge we'll be able to act better we'll be able to have and grow in our wisdom and be able to have better outcomes in whatever decisions that we are making Thank you to our uh, senior pastor, Pastor Joylin, and thank you to our general overseer, Pastor Strike. Uh, these guys, and together with the production the team, they continually innovate or make innovations that tries to bring everything to you, even as you see it, in a much more better way, in a much more improved way. You know that Pastor Strike will fix things. He doesn't wait for things to be broken, but he believes that we need to improve. We need to go to better standards on an everyday basis. And I believe that this will be one of such a, 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 a wonderful improvement that will be able to make use of it in a better way. Today, friends, we want to talk about investing and investing right. We once had a topic where we spoke about investing to, 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 to get for good results, investing for better returns. And I want to say to you today that fake news, friends, have an impact in our investment. And today I want to talk about fake financial news. Investing right, but bearing in mind that there is fake financial news out there. There is a study which was conducted in US, in America, which, you know, it, this was done quite some time back in 2011. And it found that Americans consume about five times as much information as they did in 1986. So by 2011, Americans were consuming five times as much information than they did in 1986. And this is a daily equivalent of about 174 newspapers. The study was in 2011. That was even before many of us were on Facebook and many other social media that we are using. Can you imagine how much now? Maybe it is now 15 times or maybe it is 50 times. But if you were to research, you will be able to find out. I was intrigued by this. By 2011, five times. And today we are in 2020. And where now a, a, a social media is the way of communication and everything. I believe that things are really in, going in a particular way. But today, newspapers have been replaced by posts, uh, texts, tweets, postcards, videos, and many other forms of social media that we are using, uh, which replaces the 174 a day newspapers a day. Our brains are not equipped to handle such kind of large amount of information. What we don't know is that the the, the daily headlines that we come across often has got no bearing in our daily activities. It has got no bearing in our long-term financial goals. Maybe I should say this again. The daily headlines that we face or we read about, whether it is in a newspaper or it is in our social media platforms, have got no bearing in our long term or very little bearing in our long term financial goals. So for long term investors, most financial news that we see and read and hear about today, it's noise. For long-term investors, what we read about on a daily basis, it's noise than anything to take home. In any case, if you are doing this, if you are doing things right, you should have no problem you, because you should be having someone to, to, who will assist you in digesting the information. So anything that matters to you, and if you are doing your things right, you should be having someone who should be assisting you, such as a financial advisor, for instance. 
There is an agenda, friends. All this financial news, all this fake news, even the right news, all this different kind of news and media, there is an agenda on why all of this is coming to us. Some of this information is made to scare us. Some of this information is meant to make us feel inadequate, that we are not enough, that we have to get up and do something. You've just finished doing your investment strategy yesterday and it is laid up, it is implemented, it is well and running, well oiled. And boom, here is another financial news which questions what you have done yesterday. All of, all of that will make you worry to say, did I do the right thing yesterday? So fake financial news, friends, it's a serious problem. A serious problem more than we imagine. It's a serious problem because it has got negative impact on making decisions. We, we are often believing and often told that the more the news you, you get, the better you will be able to to make the right decisions. When it comes to financial decisions, friends, things are different. It could be decisions about your debt repayment. It could be decisions about your investing and investment planning. It could be decisions about your healthcare planning. It could be decisions about any other thing that has to do with your finances. The fact that you get so much information does not necessarily make or translate it into making you to decide right. I can give you an example of fake news. Some of the fake news have got to do with debt management. We spoke about debt management the other time, but it talks about your debt reduction and, and, and debt repayment. Example of that, it's where often we hear a clip or a document or a, a, a publication that talks about a, a national credit regulator is cancelling debt below 50,000 rand. Click here to find out how to benefit out of it. That most, in fact not most, all of that, especially here in South Africa, that's fake news because there is no national credit regulator which has cancelled people's debts that are below 50,000. Some will say below 100,000, some will say below 10,000, some will just not even give you the amount, but simply put, click here to find out how you can benefit. They will say the, the president has signed the law which enable people to reduce their debt by up to 50,000 rand. Those type of news are fake news, friends. And imagine when you are clicking wherever they're saying that you must click. And all of a sudden, here is some other things that are brought to you that uh, we can help you with this, we can help you with that. It has got negative impact on making decisions. So all of it, they are meant to capture you. News and articles that lead to you not making up your mind on what exactly to do are not necessarily good. Because good news should be able to give you comfort. Good news should be able to give you a, 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 a satisfaction that I am making the right decisions. How do we check all of that? Before we even click the, 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 the article, perhaps we need to go and find out if the national credit regulator is aware of such things. So we must not take this thing sleeping. We must not take this thing lying down. We must be able to question them. Fake news about investing. You know, you get an article or a document or a publication that says uh, 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 this is what so-and-so had been using, a strategy that he has been using to be a billionaire today. And they use prominent people sometimes. They use wealthy people. You know, they would say this X person, wealthy person, have revealed, finally revealed this secret. Sometimes they will say he was not aware that his microphone was not switched off. All of these are meant to capture you and are meant to pull you down. Often they will focus on particular uh, 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 investment strategies or investment vehicles when they are about to do that. 
Usually, they will come with maybe about Bitcoins, or they will come about Forex, or they will come about all these different forms of investing. Meanwhile, those investment strategies and investment vehicles are correct, real, and accurate. But what they are giving you out of that particular article has got nothing to do in making you any better investor. Why would someone, let me give names for instance, they will say the president has, isn't it we know that uh, uh, the president also has his own businesses. They will say the president has finally revealed his secret of being a billionaire. Uh, or they will say, uh, they will use prominent names. They will talk about the president or the minister of finance or the, 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 the reserve bank governor to say he has authorized this and that and that. He has finally given up, he's given out his secret. So those type of things, we need to be able to, we need to be able to pick it up that there is no one who will be able to give out this strategy in that particular way. In any case, it's not like they are using any secret. They are working. They are having business. They are running businesses. They are doing deals and transactions. And all of that, some, many of them are in public domain. So why would we want to think that there is a particular secret or one secret that uh, 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 Petrus Mutsepe will have uh, revealed finally? Why finally? As if he was keeping it a secret all along. All of that, friends, are fake news. They will use different methods. Like I say, they will use different uh, products and investment vehicles and investment strategies just to lure you to click here. And when you click there, you are giving in your information because what they will want you to do in order to eventually reveal this particular secret is for you to give in some information. They will use property uh, 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 investment vehicles, for instance. They will use many different forms. Also, COVID has brought great opportunities for scammers. Great opportunities in a sense that they don't run short now of different strategies of luring people into their own schemes. And who are they targeting? They are targeting you and me. They talk about COVID relief programs. They will say for businessmen or they will say for individuals or they will say for those who have lost their jobs. They will, they will target different people. But all in all, they will talk about COVID relief program. There is true COVID relief programs. Much of it, our president has announced them. Many of them, different institutions that are legit, that are legitimate, are running such programs. There is no individual friend who will reveal a COVID relief program which no one else in authorities know. Example of such COVID relief programs could be COVID tenders. We know that there are genuine tenders uh, 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 that comes out, whether it is PPE or it's different things that are meant or used in COVID relief. We are given some of those things as a, 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 a tenders to us. They say because it, there is COVID now, we are no longer following the tendering protocols, the tendering procedure. So you have been uh, 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 selected. Sometimes when they say you have been selected, they will even tell you that we are looking for one, two, three things to, for you to supply. And they will even tell you that you can buy them in a, 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 a such, such an organization. Why would uh, someone who is looking for a certain machine or certain product, they even tell you where to go and buy? Why, why don't they go and buy that themselves? They do that because they have, they have connived with all the other parties where you're going to pay, where you are buying or you are, isn't it, you are meant to be a supplier. Now, when you are meant to be a supplier, they tell you where to go and buy the goods that they want you to supply and they even tell you where to deliver them. My friends, the last time you will see your money, it's when you are transferring it to that supplier where you are buying those things that they are looking for. Have you seen these things? If you scrutinize them, you will find that there is all about fake and robbery. 
Some, it is the logos that can help you pick it up. Some is the contact numbers that they've outlined or listed there. If we're talking about Department of Water Affairs in Pretoria, can't you go and find out what numbers of the Department of Water Affairs, for instance? Can't you go and find out what the Department of Health in, 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 in Limpopo or in Gauteng, uh, 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 contact numbers, and go pick up your phone and phone there and inquire if they are indeed aware of this kind of tender because they will use even fake addresses they will use fake numbers they will use fake email uh, 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 addresses so let us be vigilant friends let us be vigilant now how to navigate the sea of information and misinformation which is running out there. So this is what I suggest you should do. Number one, you must have a financial advisor. It is not a by the way kind of thing. You must have a financial advisor because a financial advisor or a financial coach, as I will put it, because these are financial decisions. If we are talking about credit management or uh, if we are talking about investing, these are financial decisions. Many of these things, we are aware of them. It's only that we might not be coming out to you regularly and say, uh, uh, there is this, there is that. But much of it, we even have ways and strategies to gauge their validity. So as a financial advisor, I might be in a better position to help you determine whether indeed that debt reduction strategy that you read about or that investment scheme that you, 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 you read about is genuine or not. Things like uh, 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 debt management, where they talk about the national credit regulator. You can pick up a phone and phone the national credit regulator because it has to do with them. They are the custodian of the National Credit Act. So if they are saying the, new, the National Credit Act has been amended to accommodate or to allow a, 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 a people to cancel debts in this way. Meanwhile, they're actually uh, luring you into debt consolidation programs and things like that. So, remember, fake news are tempting. And true news, it's not that much attractive. Because true things, you don't have to be attracted to it. You have to uh, 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 understand it and be able to apply it. Fake news, you are not even meant to understand because it is made attractive. All you do is to jump into it. They want you to act there and then. So, so that before you even think, you must be acting. They even tell you there are few or limited seats left or few positions or few posts left just so that you can run and run very fast without asking anyone. Remember, your investment plans are long-term plans. They are not a, a, a run and, 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 and enter in here now. They are a long-term plan which must be taken after careful consideration. Number three that you must do. So, uh, 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 number one, I said, have a financial coach. Number two is that don't make hasty decisions. Do your due diligence first. Do you do diligence about that particular plan or that but that particular post that you are reading so that you are not taken to and fro? Do your due diligence, ask around. Like I said about the example of the tender, contact the, uh, 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 the particular department, not from the numbers given to you on the article, but from the numbers that you can even find on, 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 on Google. Numbers that you can find on other reliable uh, 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 places instead of on that particular art, uh, article. So do your due diligence, ask around. If it is financial, ask your financial coach. If it is tendering, ask your business mentor. You can also ask your financial coach. We are also aware on procedures and everything that has to do with tendering and so on. Number three, be suspicious of news that are making use of big names. 
like the president, like I said, the minister of finance, like I said, the reserve bank, or, you know, famous wealthy people, where they are saying they, they have released something, they have introduced something, they have started this program so that you benefit. They will often show you someone getting out of a, a, a private jet, for instance. They say, this is what they are doing to create their wealth. Or someone coming out of, of, out of an, a luxury a, a vehicle. They say, this is what they do when uh, 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 they, they, they are sitting on their three-hour work per day. My friend, I don't deny that there are people who work three hours a day to create wealth, but we may not always be there to work three hours a day. Myself, I don't want to work for three hours a day to create wealth. I want to work where I change people's lives. I want to work where I make an impact on other people. So why should we want to jump into articles that reduces you into a three-hour worker? You are needed out there. Being wealthy does not mean you must stop working. So let us be careful with this type of things. My name has been used also. Not that I'm wealthy or anything, but my name has have been used in the fact that I have, I, I, I have a, a, a quite extensive knowledge in financial management. The few people that have used my name were using my name to just to, to, to put me in as if I endorse a particular a program or a particular product so that they are able to sell their own product out there. So be careful, people. In all of this, you find that it's all about a program behind that particular article. It's all about wanting to sell you something behind that particular article. Whether it is in a click here or it is in take an action now and, and so on and so on. Send us an email or call us or whatever form. But at the end of the day, it will be about attempting to sell you something or attempting to steal your money because some of the people as we enter our particulars online we are already exposing the rest of the information that you have on that particular gadget whether it is a, 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 a laptop you are exposing the information on the laptop if it is your cell phone you are exposing your information on the cell phone and you are also doing your banking on the very same cell phone so watch out when this type of articles come the law does not allow or uh, uh, permit the president, for instance, or the, 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 the minister of finance or whoever to be promoting one particular investment proposal over another. So the president will not come and endorse bitcoins, for instance. Never. The law will not allow him to do that because in, in South Africa, the investment platform is not on Bitcoin only. So he cannot be promoting one particular investment platform at the expense of the other platforms. Check the website also. Make sure that the website that you are reading or looking at, you are able to check its uh, 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 address. To see if it is real, because different uh, 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 institutions, not institutions, but different uh, 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 posts that are posted, sometimes they come to a, a, a purport as if it is of a famous institutions like Bank X. They say they are coming out as, uh, 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 for instance, FNB Bank, and only to find that the actual a website which you are reading on it's not the fnb official fnb website so watch out you must be able to check the credentials of even the author or the publisher of that particular uh, 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 post as to check whether they are genuine or not you can even go as far back as looking at the other posts that they may have posted prior to that particular a, a article posted because it is in there where we'll be able to check the background and the authenticity of this particular uh, 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 author what is his intentions if we can be able to pick up his intentions we will be able to determine whether this is genuine or not we call that a, a, a website spoofing 
So watch out for website spoofing. This is the practice of impersonating legitimate website and posting content that appears as if that content is from legitimate organization. They simply make this to make their proposals credible and nothing more. It's all about credibility. They know that if they are posting something and they are saying it's from Reserve Bank, who don't trust the Reserve Bank? But go and check out whether indeed that website you are getting all of that, it's truly the website from the Reserve Bank. Some of our uh, 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 security programs on, on our computers, they are able to tag and tick whether you are opening an authentic website or not. I don't know about your uh, antivirus software. My antivirus software is able to tell me if, before I even open the website, say you are searching or Googling on something and it brings out all the different results of your search. Before I even open any of those documents or articles, it will make a tick if it is from reliable because it is able to do a quick background check before it even bring the results to me to tell me or advise me whether that particular website that I'm about to open is genuine or not. Let us not be ignorant, friends, when it comes to these things. Closely scrutinize the sponsored, especially the sponsors con sponsored content when it, you are getting all of these articles on social media. You remember that on social media, you, I can post anything and I sponsor it. Much of all this information, when it is targeted at us in order to steal our money, in order to steal our wealth, in order to delay our progress in our financial management, it simply gets sponsored. Check out who's the sponsor of that particular article. Check out, go and find out. Because once something is sponsored, it comes as if it's a validly reported content. Just so that they can capture you. Just so that, they, you know, the word of God says the, 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 the enemy roars like a lion. So he is not a lion. He roars like a lion. Why would he want to roar like a lion? So that you are not still. So that you are not, you, 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 you are not abiding under the shadow. Look at animals. When a lion roars, even those animals that were lying and resting, relaxing, chewing the cud and everything under the shadow, some in their own caves, wherever they will have been hiding, where the lion is not seeing them. The moment the lion roars, they jump up and lose control, lose direction, and it is during that moment there that he's going to spot them because he was not even seeing any of them. But he roared, and when he roared, he manages to scare them. Friends, the enemy of your finances, the enemy of your progress, the enemy of your wealth creation strategies will roar and make you think that you are not adequate. And it is in that time where he wants to capture you. It is in that time where he wants you to think that you haven't done enough or you haven't done well in that investment. Or the strategy that you are having now in your debt repayment is not adequate. So there is no quick fix, friends. There is no one who will be canceling your debts. Debts just have to be paid. Debts don't get canceled. No one cancels debts. If the debt is canceled, it must be canceled by the one who gave you the debt to say, we forgive you. And it happened a few times. And we must also not uh, uh, underestimate the power and the working of God. God can cause debts to be canceled. But it will not be cancelled by someone who was not party to the debt. How can you owe me and someone comes and want to cancel that debt? Only the person you owe will cancel your debt and no one else. And when it comes to investing, we must be aware that investment is different from speculation. Much of the uh, 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 talks we hear and read about in this fake news uh, uh, it's more about speculation 
They will also tell you, we will teach you, we will sell you, we will give you a laptop with a, a, a software or a program that will show you when to sell, when to buy, when to do what, what, I don't know what else. That is not investing, friends. That is speculation. I'm teaching you about investments. There is no financial planner or a financial advisor that will talk to you about speculation because that is not our area of operation. It is not because you don't hear me talk, you don't hear me talk much about bitcoins. Do you know why? It's not because I don't know about bitcoins. Bitcoins are real. Bitcoins are genuine. Bitcoins are another form of investment. But the way and the manner in which it is brought to us, mainly by the fake uh, agents, it is uh, the speculative Bitcoin trading. Why do you want to trade in Bitcoin? Because you should be telling me about investing in Bitcoin. But we are told about trading in Bitcoin. We are told about trading in Forex. Since when have you been a stockbroker? Because stockbrokers are sitting there at the JSE. No one will walk around here purporting to be a stockbroker, wanting to uh, 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 sell you a software on how to buy and sell currencies. No one, friends. It's not real. So one of the reasons that uh, uh, makes us talk less about Bitcoin, it's also for this reason that genuine as it may be but most of the uh, 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 things we hear about out there about bitcoin it's fake many people have lost so much money so far into the hands of these scrupulous uh, 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 traders how will you trade in bitcoin when you don't even know that there's something called kruger rents because they are coins. They may be different. They may be doing things slightly different. But this is another coin also. How will you talk about Bitcoin when you don't know that you can invest in gold? Buying physical gold. Because that is another store of value. It's another form of investment vehicles, friends. So there is nothing new out there. By the way, it's long that Bitcoin has been around. You may be hearing it for the first time uh, this past month or this past last year. But this thing has been there and around for a long time. I, for one, I think I did some uh, 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 examination around it two years ago. And let us remember, whether it is Bitcoin or it is Kruger Rands or it is gold or it is hard currency or it is whatever, we must also understand the tax consequences or the tax implications of such kind of an investment so there is nothing new under the sun but when you invest you must know that uh, when i say investing right and let us avoid fake news i'm specifically now talking about bitcoin simply because bitcoin is also one of the most dated form of investing let me conclude the Bitcoin issue and say, don't buy Bitcoin today so that you can sell it next week when the price is high or when the price is low. Bitcoin, those who are doing well with it, they buy and hold. Just like many other forms of investment, it could be shares or stocks. It could be property. It could be oil. It could be anything. It is those who buy and hold that succeed in that form of investing. If you are buying thinking that you will sell tomorrow, uh, you are in a wrong platform. You are in a wrong platform. And I can tell you that you are not yet ready to make money in terms of investing. Because you are speculating and you are not, you are not investing. So there's no quick fix, friends. We must be careful on what we invest into. We must be careful on the news and, 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 and all that you will call news. But let me call it noise. All this news and the noise that we come across. And I'm not saying all of this is bad. No, it, you remember, the, the reason that we have the devil is because we have Satan. I beg your pardon. The reason we have the devil is because we have God. So it is fake. As long as there is something genuine, there will be someone faking the genuine thing and make it real 
and run with it to a point that you think that, oh, I'm left behind. I haven't done one, two, three. I'm left behind. Friends, it doesn't work like that. We can do better than that. So don't invest in things you don't know. Next week, we will be talking about a, a, a different forms of investment in relation to returns. But don't invest in things you don't know. You must understand how your investment make money for you. So you should be surprised. And some of, 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 of these things, we find them even in the so-called church. I'm saying so-called because I don't think these are churches. Where you are told that invest so much, uh, uh, 1,000, it will come uh, after so many days or after so many weeks uh, being 1,500. Ask yourself, where is that additional 500 coming from? Where have you seen an investment today and tomorrow it has uh, uh, given fruits of ha half of its value? Where was that other half before I've put my uh, uh, 1,000? Ask yourself questions. That is why I said how to deal with it. Number one, I said you must have a coach. So these are the kind of things we will be happy to deal with it. Not only myself, and I know that many other financial advisors out there will be able, will be willing to help you understand these different forms. So don't get into things that don't make sense. I know when you're sitting alone, it, it sounds like it is sensible. It makes a lot of sense. But tr trust me, the moment you sit and start talking to someone, you will start realizing, oh, no, this thing doesn't make sense. So let us admit that we are no experts in financial management. We are not experts in investing. But whatever it is, or any other financial matter, we can do better if we have someone to assist us in that part. And I believe with this, uh, 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 you will be able to make the right uh, decisions. You will be able to, write to, to be able to make the right financial decisions that will assist you, that will grow you and your family. And with those many words, let me thank you and appreciate you. And I believe that you have been blessed and you have learned and you are empowered. And till we meet again, God bless you.